today? Oh, it's all good. We've begun because we don't do editing. What we do is people. Hello, what is your name? My name is Mirson Howes, aka Chris. Awesome. Do you know why I'm actually putting this on right now? YouTube? I sat over there and yeah. you were a lovely man. You handed me this flyer. Let's show it. Yeah? Yeah. Now, your stage name is Icarus. Yes, that is correct. Now, even though you've already played, you were going around out here and showing people flyers to get other artists basically a bit of a billing. Do you know why it's fucking cool? Why is that? We live in the world where Simon Cowell has convinced the world it's all about one person, the individual, all mm. about themselves, but you're about the collective. Of course, yeah. And that is a beautiful thing. Tell us about your music, mate. You have now been sold on the channel. Oh, there you go. Well, the thing of that, about that, I've been listening to drum and bass for about nine years. And it's, it's what inspired me to, I used to live in London, moved to the States, lived there for 10 years, moved uh, back about three years ago. And the reason I moved back was because of drum and bass, essentially, and because I wanted to pursue a career and I wanted to create a night that I could kind of be proud of and kind of get that going. And I've kind of got in contact with these heavy signal boys and that's why I've been pushing these nights and oh. trying to push myself and just kind of give back to the drum and bass team, which inspired me in the first place. Cool. At the risk of sounding cheesy, let's face it, most collectors work because people are thinking about the whole rather than the individual. Why exactly. do you think that's being lost in society? It's a tough one. I think everyone's kind of it's quite selfish when it comes to these kind of things. I think with today's media and the, the kind of the system we live in, um, it kind of it, it hasn't brainwashed people, I guess, to an extent. But it teaches them that it's all about themselves and making success for yourself. But the thing is, if you have success with everyone around you, then you'll be successful for yourself as well. I mean, that's what it's about. Have you found this out through interactions with others, or are you just like basically brought up really well? Well, I've got <laughs> your parents. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a mix of both. I said, I guess, like my parents always you know, to maybe work hard and stuff, and I kind of realize what the the fruits of my labor are and whatnot. But the thing is, I've got plenty of friends that are into music and stuff like that, and I just want everyone to be just, just as successful as I am because I want everyone to be just enjoying life oh, generally. Mate, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take down your details afterwards. I'm gonna put them on the screen underneath your chin people be able to look at that link and think you know what I will check out his music because he seems like a solid guy oh cheers man I gotta say I'm more into my rock and roll than anything else but if I do have to veer off if there is another woman compared to rock and roll it's drum and bass because that 4-4 beat keeps me happy oh big up mate mate there you, you rock you get the hand of happiness oh safety I really appreciate that <laughs> no worries goodbye for now keep on doing your drum and bass oh, thing safety have a good one thank you <laughs>